Nissan Maxima. And I wanted to show you, there is uh, very, very little room in this car. This is a uh, 3.5 liter motor. You can see there is there is no room here at all. All right, I've taken the top plate off of this. There's another uh, shroud that works here, but for time's sake, I took that off. You can see, for any other design, this would be impossible, and this is a normal format nowadays. So I'm going to show you why ours is uh, is so phenomenal, and why you need to get one of our hybrid cells. All right, let me change this up here. Um, before I turn it off, let me show you. We've designed ours specifically to go down right between the front radiator or the radiator and the front grill. Now, even though it doesn't look like much room there, there's actually about three and a half inches, which is all we need. And I'll show you. Um, let me show you real quick here before I turn this off. These front grills are generally held together with just little pop pins here. And all you have to do is just stick your screwdriver underneath there and pop it up, and it just just pulls right out of there, just like that. And I've already done that with the rest of these. There's only a few holding this on. Boom, boom, boom. Put that over here. And then look at this. There are little tabs. I've already disconnected them because I'm doing this with one hand. But it basically just slides straight out, pops over. Set this down over here. Now, now look at our room. Okay? You're going to find that. I've already run the wires here. You're going to find this on every car. There is some amount of space. Some people have six inches, which would be great for our mega brick. Others only have three, three and a half inches. This is probably the tightest car that I've had to do an install in. And we put a dual system in here, but I've removed them so I could show you how we can uh, install it. Okay? So I'll back out. So there we go. Took five minutes to remove the plate. And that is a front radiator. And now I'm going to get set up here on this and set the camera up on the side so you can get a better shot. One other final note. As you can see, if you look down in here, most of your newer cars have a shroud underneath, an air dam underneath there. And as you can see, I've pulled that off of there because it makes it much easier with a real tight install like this. Some of them, you can just drop them straight in from on top. This one is so tight that I needed to come in from underneath. So I took five minutes and removed that bottom, the bottom shroud down there. Okay, you got that? All right, let me get you set up on the other way to go. <clears throat> All I have to do, get down here, grab the bracket, and I pull, pull this front bumper out just a little bit so that it can fit, because this is a tight fit. We come up like that. We come onto this. This is metal, this front bumper beam here. Then we take our our screw and screwdriver and tighten that up. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this while I while I photograph this now or videotape it. Now, what we recommend are these metal tapping screws. All right, all you have to do is drill a hole in the metal because this is actually pretty thin. It's it's not real thick metal. You drill a couple holes, get the self tapping screws, get a little socket driver that fits it. You can put it in your screw gun. Come on over here. Put it in the hole that you drilled and And there we go. You do that to the other one. Let's see here. Do that to the other one. You can see right there. She's all installed ready to hook up the hoses and the wiring. Run the wiring in there. Pop this back up on there. Boom, there you go. Installed in, what, 10 minutes? All right. And you can't even tell it's in there. That's our new 771 series, the Tiny Titan. If you have if you have a really small place, really small space like this car, rather than get one big unit, get two tiny Titans and put a dual. I've got room for a dual in here. That's what we did for our Canada trip. You put a dual generator system in there, and you can uh, fit. That way, you can get a good 
a good uh, four to six liters per minute off of two tiny Titans. All right, and there we go.